Hi everyone! For this next part in my more efficient leveling series, I decided it was time to look at the warrior. The warrior is considered the hardest class to level in vanilla, partly because it has no self-healing and no movement increasing effects besides charge. It is however a fun class to play, it's one of the two best tanks, as some fights are more suited for warriors and some are more suited for druids, it's one of the best damage dealers at max level and it's one of the strongest in max level PvP, once you get some gear. The time it takes to level depends on three major things. How fast you can kill mobs, how long you have to recover between pulls, and how long it takes for you to travel. It also, of course, depends on how effective you play, how well planned your route is, and such. However, these things usually aren't class specific, besides for some class quests and such. The best route for a warrior is probably the same as for a roach, for example. Why we won't cover it here. We'll start out with travel time. As warriors have no movement increasing abilities like Ghost Wolf or Aspect of the Sheeta, charging mobs or critters is the only way to increase your travel time by a little amount. A way to make your travel time less wasteful is to grind mobs along the way. Even if you weren't traveling, you would still have to run between mobs. If you grind, you don't have to chase quests throughout your zone. If you can kill beasts, you can make some gold for your spells. And you don't have to leave, for example, Silver Pine Forest for the barons as you've done most of the quests and saving your time in that way. If it's more efficient or not to just do the quests in a zone and then switch to another one probably depends on how fast you can travel. So for a warrior, it might be better to just stay and grind. For the warrior, your damage output depends on your weapon damage, the stats of your gear, which abilities and ranks you use, and where you put your talent points. Some of these factors weigh more than others. Your weapon damage is what determines the bulk of your damage. Strength is not as important. By putting on gear with strength, I gained 14 strength which in turn gave 2.3 more in DPS. With this weapon, 14 strength meant an increase in DPS of 7%. Looking at my talent choices, you can see I've chosen 5 points in reflection, which gives me 5% higher chance to parry. The reason for this is as follows. As you parry, you not only parry the damage of the attack, but you also decrease the cooldown of your auto attack by 1.5 seconds, meaning parrying actually increases your DPS. As how much you can parry depends on how much the enemy mob attacks you, it's not straightforward to calculate how much it will increase your DPS output. But let's assume a mob takes 7 auto attacks to be killed, and my weapon timer is 3.3 seconds. It will then take a total of 23.1 seconds to down the mob. If I parry twice within these 23.1 seconds, it will decrease the time by 3 seconds, meaning it now takes 20.1 seconds. This will increase the DPS by 13%. If you attack a tiger for example, which do low damage but hit often, you will parry more, and thus do even more damage. And if you fight two tigers at once and cleave them, then that might even double your DPS per target. This is the most important point of my tips. Look at how quickly the warrior regenerates health. Your health ticks once every 2 seconds. Here I regained 222 health in 6 seconds without using potions, bandages or food. The reason for this is that the warrior benefits exceptionally much from spirit. Each spirit increases your total health regeneration per tick by 1.3. And if you sit down, your health regeneration is increased by 50%. Different classes benefits differently from spirit when it comes to health regeneration, but no class comes close to the warrior in this case. 
If you're wondering how spirit affects different classes, check out my video on that topic called Spirit, How Does It Work? Another method for decreasing your downtime is to slow the target with hamstring and then only run close whenever your auto attack is off cooldown. By doing this, you will reduce the amount of damage you take. My proposition for leveling a warrior would be as follows. For dealing damage, put points in reflection. Get a strong weapon, which is the most important part. And also consider getting sharpening stones, which are crafted by blacksmiths. When it comes to recovering, I suggest you go for gear with high spirit and stamina. The increased recovering time when stacking strength is just too high compared to your DPS increase. 14 strength gives 2.3 more in DPS, while 14 spirit gives 18 health more per tick, or 27 health per tick if you're sitting down. Also, taking more hits will increase DPS due to parries, which is why I'd recommend the method with spirit and parry over the method of strength and hamstring kiting. As for traveling, grind between locations, Use the flight points wisely, and charge critters and whatnot. Well, these were my tips for leveling a warrior more efficiently. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. If you have any tips on how I can improve my videos, or if you have something special you would want me to cover, I would appreciate if you shared it in a comment below. Thanks for watching.